All right, this is the start of episode five of The Walking Dead. Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. Can we at least look for my parents when we get there? They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone, wherever she is. I have to find her. This is something I have to do alone. Sorry, partner. No dice. No way I'm letting you do this alone. I hope you find her, but you're gonna have to do it without us. Clementine. Okay, and the recap. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. We ain't flush with time, but... Fuck. We got less than I thought. I'll be ready to kill anything that tries to get in. You got it by yourself? Damn right. You just trying to find another way out of here. Got it. And Lee, I'm glad I didn't let you Thanks come Thanks for along. coming, Kenny. Come on. No, we're indestructible, Lee. Come on. No, 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 no. <gasps> Better stop, Lee. Quit it. Stop it right now, mister. What the fuck happened? Are you all right? When the hell did that happen? God damn it, Lee. Uh -oh. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. Don't. I gotta do it. You better fucking not. Uh -oh. Ow, wait! Thanks. God. I found your goddamn secret, you dumb son of a bitch. You were bitten? Fuck, man. When were you? God! It doesn't change anything. We're still going after Clementine. Except when we find her, you're not going to be around to take care of her. Maybe we can... do something. I was, uh, gonna try to do a little surgery before you woke up. Surgery? What? What are you talking about? Look, you haven't been bitten long. It's away from your heart and your head. We take the arm, and maybe we save your life. I don't know if that equates. I might die a lot faster in a pool of my own blood. Yeah, we saw what amputating limbs did to the teacher. I don't know. We're leaving. Are you sure? Is that gonna get me yeah. fucking killed for like keeping my arm? Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. Lee, you'll die. I feel like I die if you cut my arm off. There's nothing to like. Keep an eye on that door. I'll there's nothing to cauterize it. There's nothing Lee. to stop the bleeding besides this Kenny. We're doing, and I don't want to and he's a moron. Kenny. 
Okay, I have to know if I should have cut it off or not. Am I gonna regret not cutting it off? I'm assuming it's already at my brain if I spaced out like that. <gasps> Lee, quit it! What the fuck, pal? Get up! Get up! I can't come back down for you. You're gonna have to pull yourself up. Well, there's some strong leg muscles, though. Way to go, pal. Gave me a fucking scare. Me too. Who falls backwards on a ladder? Come on, Lee. You can do this. It's... This is hard. I'm supposed to be indestructible. Remember when Savannah was empty? Oh, way back then. Like six hours ago? A lot's happened in the meantime. You wanna talk about what happened back there? It's the bite. Just have to deal with it. Just let me know if you start feeling funny. I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. Good. We get down and... We find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to cope with dying in the game. What's going on? That's just... everything. Fuck, man. You know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are. Right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Kid. No. No, I I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's, it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Ladder. Um, that seems like it violates a hundred yeah. laws. Could buy us some time. Throw That's a safety violation if I've ever get seen. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses. I'm gonna bust to my match. ass going up that ladder. You, think you should be the one to go. Let me do it. No. If anything happens to me, you're the only chance she's got. Be careful. Can Man. you walk across that? No, hell no, I would never walk across that, not even if you paid me. No, sir. I'm not that brave, Jesus. <gasps> no, no. Oh my god. Jesus, <laughs> you The one that got hit in the head is the most unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. Dinner bell. How am I supposed to get off of this place? There's nothing. That did the trick, pal. Now get back here. How, Kenny? How? <laughs> Can I jump it? I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. Tells you. You don't have to jump. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. Jump, jump, jump. You've got this, Lee. Oh my god, my heart stopped. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. I'm surprised I haven't died yet from all the freaking acrobatics I'm doing in this game. Oh wait, it's because I'm indestructible! Where's the boat? What the fuck? Vernon, his entire crew... They took the boat. No fucking way! 
They jumped us. They didn't have Clementine. They took the boat and locked us in here. <gasps> that old man. The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. They fucked us! He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if they're make a wish. <laughs> fucking bull ride. When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. We'll never find them. <laughs> we would have done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned. Leave me alone. Change. Wait, what the fuck is that on your wrist? Oh fuck! Don't shoot me. Bitten. What? It was an accident. Small, stupid thing. But yeah. Before we split up. Yes. You fucker! God, we would have gone with you! We're all gonna end up one of two ways. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the- You middle. really let a bunch yeah. of old people steal our boat? And I'm supposed to trust you guys to get Clementine? Everything nah. Is so no. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Me either. Then Not with the cannibals. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. What do you think, Lee? I've been telling this at every freaking corner, and it's always well, someone starting something with Kenny. Always. One. What's yeah. wrong with him? Can't Number you get along with you one know, person? Yourself. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah. Stop well, talking about it like you're not gonna be spaces. around, Lee. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be Shut alive. up! Stop talking about me as if I'm not With all here! Due respect, Lee. His opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about. Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! Man. Kenny's my friend, but he's a dickhead. <laughs> they shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Oh, me! What is it? Front doors! How the fuck? Wasn't that thing locked? Does it move Wait, like the Adams hell. family hand? Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Oh no. <laughs> Damn, first try. He's beginning to believe. Well, this the only door that makes sense. Or the only cabinet that makes sense. Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. Oh fuck! What happened to all the boarded up plays? Dirty my ass! Get upstairs! Go. What the hell? This place was fine before. What happened? <laughs> ew, ew, ew. Go away! Go away! Down. And he's going fast. Take a fucking stand. Oh my gosh! Don't come out of the bedroom door. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. You all know where to aim. I'm not ready. Am I the only one that's gonna be shooting? Are you all gonna shoot too? Or is it just me?
Go, 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 go. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee still bit. Shut up, Kenny. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the third. Industrial oh, need Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. Yeah. I like the jokes. I'm sorry. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. It's, it's over, Anakin. Can... I have the high okay. ground. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to. Oh, it's going to die. To start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. No, we need to only think about Clementine. How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. How long you think we have? What? I, I don't know. We should have cut it off. At least then there would have been Stop a chance. Stop bringing it up. I would have died. Too. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. <laughs> don't. <laughs> it don't matter. You don't trust Kenny with heavy objects? Fuck no. I, I didn't forget, but I know what you that did, Kenny. Happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Understand that you know exactly what to do if I turn and that's enough Do you hear me? You might become one of them. You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? You ruined that dude's face <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. Look Kenny was gonna hit me with that. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30 foot drop? No, this mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. <laughs> this wall ain't shit. I'm not leaving time really with him. We have to work fast. Don't come near me with that thing. Yeah, I thought he was gonna bash my head in. I don't trust Kenny at all. I've never trusted him after what he did to Larry. I didn't want to scare anyone. Because you were scared yourself. I'm not you scared. I'm indestructible. We thought we'd turn on you. I did sure. think we would turn on you. scared. I don't blame you. I would be scared shitless. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? Seriously, I don't want to talk about... I'm bitten. But... We all know that's a It's rat. not! There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. She likes her stuff. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? Heard you guys giving Lee some hell about hiding his bike. Yeah, of course. I'd have done the same thing. 
You'd be the first to kill me. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. Oh no. <gasps> That's exactly how I would want to go. In the middle of a zombie apocalypse. People we've seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Together. Oh. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long no, as you No, you don't. Can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. You did everything you could. No, Lee. I could have been a better husband. You could have. Better father. You could have. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way it's out. It's too of late for all of that, that thinking, though. We should That's move. exactly how I would have wanted to go. At least one shot left. Those are the smartest people in the whole game. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Okay. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. I'm jumping across too many roofs today. <laughs> Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, <laughs> right? It's good to be moving. We can't stop. Damn right we can't. We're not too far. How are we finding this guy? We'll just get to the hotel and stick together. And use our heads. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Oh no. Careful, Cross, here. You guys are brave going two across at a time. Whoa. That's a whole another level of trust. <laughs> Don't look down. Don't look down. There's holes in it. I can see through it. Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. River Street's just up ahead. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. This roof could give way. Don't gotta tell me twice. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <gasps> Bitch! I wanted to leave them on the counter! Oh my god, Penny! Oh, you ruined things! Well, I'm so sorry. Go get it! We have to get it back. That's our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. Comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so uh, don't be sorry. sorry, just go get it's it. Fine. Sorry doesn't mean anything. We just need to figure out who's going down. Kenny's there. going down there. Oh my gosh. Now you ruined her future family, Jesus Kenny. Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. Jump. We can't reach. Oh Find my something goodness. fast. Grab onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. <gasps> no, Krista. You were supposed to be Clementine's adopted mom. Look okay, here, there are. I see them in the shadow. Shit, they're in there! 
No, Krista. Fuck! Jump up here, baby! Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Krista, come on, you're indestructible. We don't know. He could be down there still. He, he could be on the run. He, he, he could be I look down. sick. He could be okay. He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Oh. Bye, Kenny. He did the right thing. At least Krista and Omi can be together now. I was not gonna jump in there after him. <laughs> no. No way. No way in hell was I gonna jump in there. Bye, Kenny. Are you okay? Do you wanna No. Nothing to say. We need to stay focused on what we're doing. I know we can't just take a minute, but you're not a machine. This is a shitty time. I wanna make sure we're clear before we go forward. I could be a machine until what I find Clementine. Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Yeah, you do. Let me take all the risks. That's not what I mean, necessarily. What do you mean? It's what I mean. It's what we gotta do. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. <laughs> They're such a cool couple. Going first. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. And you're walking for two. Walking for two? So it so She's pregnant? City itself. Dang. I'll go first. Congratulations, Krista. Whoa. Just go nice and slow. <laughs> I black out. <laughs> I'm small. <laughs> the end Almost of the game. There. It's an easy crossing. Good. Damn, dude. Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Let's meet outside of town. By the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll, we'll be there. Oh, look at that. It's just me alone. <laughs> I don't trust myself.
bad ass. What are we doing? If I die right now, I'm gonna be there. I feel like they just want me to grab anyone. Knife is that? Why? Why is it so freaking sharp for? That's the station wagon. That's the station wagon that people stole shit out of. I didn't steal anything. Clementine and I did not take a single thing. Oh no! I knew they were gonna be alive. I knew they were gonna come back. No, cause now look, what's their car? I know that's their car. This is why you shouldn't take things from people! Oh man, no. I told you idiots not to take anything! I said it! I told them! And now look! What is this? Booby trap. What is? Who are you? I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. So do you. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out. Who's out there? It's Clementine. Quiet, please. Sweetie. Who are you? Your things. There. Why do you have her locked in a room? Just be cool. Do I not see? No, me? you look creepy. Good. Go sit down. Why do you talk like that? What's wrong with you? Do you know who I am? No. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. What do you mean, people like you? Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest. I didn't take All it. Of food. It wasn't me. Things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal either. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coached Little League. Coached. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Well, because she's honest. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what I don't want to know what happened. I knew something bad was going to happen. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. 
so bad. Why'd you leave the station wagon? My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too That's young. That's a sociopathic tendency. I figured he had to learn. Hunting what? I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. He never found him. I hurt her so bad. You shouldn't have taken him out hunting when she told you not to. And then we came back. And all our stuff was gone. Seems like you double wronged her. Your people did. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking <gasps> Don't talk about Katja that I way. I her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. It's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. A zombie? Do I look like a monster to yes. you? Think that now you just wait. I'm not like you. No, you're nuts. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human. Meat. I didn't let her. I did my best. You abandoned a defenseless grieving woman. Who? Willie? Mm -hmm. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. To find the bow. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off. In the house alone? Are you crazy? Have you lost some marbles in your head? What's wrong with you? How could you know all this? <laughs> he literally has some loose screws or something. You're the stalker? You're a monster. You're a stalker. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Not before I hurt you. I didn't steal from you. But think of everything else you did. What does that have anything to do with I you? Clementine on my radio. I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did... <gasps> the danger she was in you were the one that's locked her in a room you're the danger what kind of <laughs> what's not clicking you hear this before what happens next i can take care of her. no we can have a family. no you you got rid of your family i bet you don't even know how old she is she's eight wrong she's oh nine. wow one number her birthday was six days ago I know how to be a dad now. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been. You took your child out hunting. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. She's been just fine. You're the one that kidnapped her. You'll have to kill me. Yeah. I know. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work. Is that his wife's head? I'm glad too. What is wrong with you? This is Norman Bates level of insanity. It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Yes! Man, get off me! Hit him again, Clementine. Get him. <laughs> he was moving too fast.
despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Fucking die already, you nutcase. You're literally crazy. You're the craziest person in this entire game. Oh my gosh. Q, is that enough Q button? Q, come on. Fucking nut job, die already. <laughs> He's not dead. Where's the gun? How much the gun's not even loaded because he's just nuts and he thinks it's loaded. He's crazy. Fucking psycho. <laughs> it's empty. It's not empty. He would have come back. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I'm gonna miss her. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yes, please. We need to get you somewhere safe. Then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Stop looking at him. going to kill you and take you yeah <gasps> ew Jesus. it's still talking don't look in there no i know <laughs> the depravity oh i'm leaving Oh my god, I can't even think about that. That's gonna give me nightmares. No! Who are you? Why are you standing so fucking close to me? He's not gonna attack me because he thinks I'm dead. We can't talk about this right now. You're covered in all that gross stuff. Oh my god, this was the most genius thing ever. That's the only thing I remember from the actual show. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. Smart. So smart. Incredible. Whoever's mind came up with that. Chop. I'm so sorry, Clementine, you're not supposed to be watching. Scoop! <laughs> no! Oh, why is it getting worse and worse? <laughs> Ew! Oh my god, I'm a zombie! That's what they do, they kill people like that, and now I'm doing it. Oh my god. Not that eye contact. I'm so sorry. Why can't you just wear it like a necklace? It's probably cold. I don't think zombies regularly body heat. Are you Happy late birthday. <laughs> was he being serious? Do you think it was actually her birthday? I don't think I believe a single word that came out of that guy's mouth. That should do it. I'm sorry, Clementine. I hope so. She looks so little from that angle. I thought it 
was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. She's so sweet. I can't. I'm not ready to have that Still talk with her. Slowly. Walk very slowly. Look around. I'm tearing up and it's not even happening. <laughs> Not after like today. You look like you're dying, man. We're indestructible. Come on. Don't push me, man. Back away. You just really mind their own business, huh? Oh, was her pants? Don't tell me you finally found them. No, that's the worst spot, Lee. That's horrible. Get up, get up, get up. supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. <laughs> this is horrible. I don't like this ending. I, I think there might be a way out over there. Good. Good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. There's some sad music playing that would have destroyed me. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. They would have chewed me up. It was hard. I don't know how you did it. But you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. I can't die in here. I'm supposed to die outside by Get the up, train. Please. The door is right here. Come on, cue button. <clears throat> no. I can't. You have to. Yeah, you literally have to. Lee. I can't move. This is it for Stop. Me. Get up! He 
indestructible. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Thanks. Like what? You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I I can't leave you. Just work on getting out, okay? Start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh, no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh, ow! Not with your hand. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use a that. baseball hat. <laughs> My heart hurts. I don't like this. This is too much for my heart. We're supposed to have a lot of time together. We need to teach her all these things. He's got keys. Probably to that door. Everything you'll need. Handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, me. Yeah. Kill it easy then. I don't know. Me. I can do it. Just be careful. Move around the side and jump away if he gets close. Me. You can do it. Doing so great. What should I get first? You're so close. Just get them both. Uh, I'll try. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, no. Get him. Get him. What am I supposed to be doing? Watch out! The bat, Clem! Get the bat! Great job, I'm so sorry. I, I got him. Great, Clem. Good job. No. Do anything. But I'm little. That means nothing. You go 
don't see bad stuff, but it's okay. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine this would be. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't be one of them. There's only one thing you can do. Shoot me. I can't make her I shoot don't know me. If I can. You have to shoot me. Please, no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Duck holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes. And be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. You can do it. I, you can I do can. It. I don't mean it, Krista. You're outside of town by the train. You remember how to get back there? Yes. Me too, Clementine. Me too. And Clem. <laughs> Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Good. Good. And also. I need so much pain. <laughs> And also what? What? What is it? Also what? No, don't worry. Alright. Don't be afraid. <laughs> what if I wanted to say all those things to her? I could only say one. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ow! <laughs> but then his, like, last breath. <sighs> Did I just physically hear someone's last breath? Man, I'm so done. That's the end. That's the end. <laughs> I'm so upset. This is the commentary for the end of episode 5. <laughs> I can't stop crying. Don't laugh at me. It's actually really sad. I'm surprised that you're not crying. That was the hardest thing I've had to see. Okay. I need to stop crying so that this audio is not shitty. Okay. I don't have a reaction. I'm like heartbroken right now. I did not think that I was gonna die. And if I was gonna die, I didn't think it would be in some shitty security office. I thought it was gonna be outside where like I could see her be with Krista and Omi, not like. I don't know if she makes it. I hope she makes it. I was supposed to get her out of there and I fucking passed out at the worst possible second right after she sees her parents as zombies. Like, what? That's so... Ugh, I don't even have a word to explain that. It's just so... Soul crushing. <laughs> I don't have any adjectives to describe this. I know I'm a crybaby, but I feel like that would have made anyone cry. Did I remove Lee's arm? Apparently me and 28% of other players didn't remove my arm. I didn't remove my arm because 
I don't know if that's even proven that it was. It's not like gangrene. Apparently, we all have the virus, and it's just laying in our brains. I didn't remove my arm because I did not want to bleed out. I didn't trust Kenny to make sure that I didn't bleed out and die right on the spot. And I didn't think I needed to. I needed my arm for things. I needed my hand to climb a rope. I needed it to jump off of those ledges. I feel like I needed it way more than I would benefit from losing it. And also, I just really didn't trust Kenny to remove it and <laughs> make sure I stayed alive after. No, I didn't remove it. Um, lost temper. Oh, I let Kenny pick up the bus. I didn't even think of bashing his head in. I, I, what is wrong with all these people, like, just automatically killing the other members of their team? I would have never done that. I didn't even think of picking up the bus, and I'm glad that he picked it up, because I wouldn't have wanted to. Like, I ran out of time on that option to pick it up, and I'm, I'm relieved, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to kill Kenny for that. I just don't think it was necessary. I think, yeah, Kenny was being really difficult to deal with in the end, but that's not grounds for me hitting him over the head with a bust statue of something. It's just, would have wasted our time in trying to escape. I don't know, maybe that's just my demeanor where I like being more calm in situations like that, or like neutral in situations like that. It just didn't feel important to hit him over the head. Disarmed. Did I give up weapons? You and 59% of players surrendered weapons. I gave up my weapons when the crazy guy told me to because I didn't... I mean, he had a gun on me. I didn't know if it was armed or not, but why would I hold on to a butcher's knife? There was no reason to. No, I don't think it was stupid. I think it was smart. Killed Clementine's captor. You and 42% of players killed the stranger. Only 42%? Yeah, I, I killed him. I didn't think that was even going to be that big of a question or a big of a decision. I yelled him because he was crazy. He was talking to his wife's head in a bowling bag. Who And he wanted me to give Clementine to him? What? In what universe did that make any sense? I want to talk to the other, what is that, 48% of you that didn't kill him. What happens if you don't kill him? Did you just take her anyway? Did you guys give Clementine to him? <gasps> I can't trust you other 48%. The 42% that did kill him, you guys are cool. You guys are smart. You guys are trustworthy. Why would I spare him so he can continue kidnapping Clementine? No. He's nuts. He'd just go and kidnap another kid. Mm -mm. Nope. Yeah, I killed him. He, he, he had lost it. I was not gonna give him commentary. No way. Mm -hmm. I know I made the right decision there. You guys are crazy if you didn't kill him. <laughs> she says that she's laughing. <laughs> okay. Stopped Lee from turning. You and 63% of players made sure you didn't turn. I didn't want to become a zombie. I didn't want to have Clem worry about me existing in the same state as her parents are just wandering aimlessly and eating people. I didn't want to be completely scared of you. I think her killing me it makes her a bit more brave and she doesn't have to worry about me and at peace just being officially dead, not something that's walking and undead. Like her parents. I think it was, see, seeing her parents like that was really hard for her. It was traumatizing. I wouldn't want to see my parents as zombies. It's just like when earlier on in the series, Lee saw his brother as a zombie. Like, it's just so hard to see someone you consider family be in that state of just, you're dead, but you're not. You're still wandering the earth, just mindlessly. You're just existing. When you should just be at peace, you should be resting when you're dead. So, I'm glad she told me when I was still human. I think that 
it was it was a great way for us to end our relationship as me as her caretaker because now she can take care of herself. I think she proved that by shooting me. I don't think Clementine is still a child. I think she stopped being a child the minute she handed me that hammer, really. In the first episode, I think she she's always known the details, even if they're gruesome, about everything that we do and everything we have been doing to survive in this world. I know I've not tried to sugarcoat anything. She saw the cannibal room. She saw... She saw us protecting the motel. She saw everything. She saw even the arguments between the team. I, I, I don't think there's any way that she could have still been, uh, still retained a childlike innocence. Duck, I feel like, still is a bit. His parents kind of shielded him a bit from a lot of stuff. But Clementine, I feel like, has always known. Everything. I always try to make keep herself aware of what's actually happening. And so I think she was ready to finally shoot me in the end. She might not have felt ready, but she was mentally ready to do so. After all that she's seen. Yeah, I I did choose to be honest with her for most of the game. Because I didn't want her to think that this was supposed to be an easy thing to live through. It's not. You make really hard decisions. And sometimes you don't like the choices you make. But if they keep you alive, then it's worth it to see, to have to see all the gore that comes from your decisions. I think, I think that she'll be ready because of all that she's seen and all that I've been honest with her about. Like she has a guideline to make decisions now. And, like, actually moral decisions. Most of the the decisions we have made have been good, I think. Obviously, it was a good decision for her to shoot me. As bad as it sounded and as rough as it was for both of us, it was the best decision of the two options. I guess, in a way, it's better that I died than having to shoot Clementine. I would not have been able to do that. I would have shot myself, pulled a Katja. I wouldn't have been able to. Katja would have been right there with you, B. I couldn't. That makes me feel better. That I was shot and I didn't have to shoot Clementine. I wouldn't have been able to do it. What is this music? Is this supposed to make me feel better? I think the game I think the game did a really good job of making you feel like you were in the apocalypse. Like, I really... It was hard playing this game and then playing this... Because I would play an episode a day or even two episodes a day if I had to. But, um... You would play it for an hour and a half, two hours. And then you'd, you'd make all these hard decisions. You'd hear the zombies in one ear. <laughs> you'd hear the music in another ear. And it's just... It's like they're all around you, and they're always making noise. Even if it's in the final clip, they're always making noise, because they're always going to be around. And I did have nightmares about this game. I, it's like you turn the game off, and it, you'd still be, your mind would still be turning. Like, oh, did I make the right decision there? Did I make the right decision there? It's just, it really immerses you into making a quick decision, and making a quick decision based on whether it's right for the group or if it's just right for you and Clementine. He says those are two different things. What's right for the group and what's right for Clementine. In the end, I wanted to branch off from the group. I didn't want to go on the boat. And so I was thinking more in terms of Clementine. But at the beginning of the whole gameplay, it was a lot of what's best for the team thinking. Um, because when you're in an apocalypse, you really only have the people that are around you that you can trust. And I guess the more you spend time with them, the more their character starts to show. But a lot of the character development was believable, in a way. Maybe except for Lily. Lily was crazy. Lily went nuts. But I mean, that makes sense too, because you're in an apocalypse, and it makes sense to go crazy for a bit. 
Oh yeah, I'll put you in it. I'll put you in it. I had to dig up a grave with a dog in it. And then I had to rebury that same grave with a child also in it. And you had to physically do it. It's not like it was one click and the grave's buried again. No, it's you have to shovel in dirt over and over again until it's covered. You have to stumble into the forest and you see someone's mom dead and then you have to shoot a kid. You have to look at him, aim, and shoot. All of the killing is really... They made you look and point at the person that you're shooting and killing, knifing everyone. I'm in pain. You didn't have to do all of that, singer. You didn't have to vocalize my pain like that. <gasps> she makes it. Is that them? What is this mean? What does that mean? Was that Krista and Omid? Are they not by the tree? Okay, back to the analysis. I think my decisions changed in the end because of how, especially in the last episode, just because of the time constraints. I think in the first couple episodes, would I have jumped in to save Kenny? Of course. But as the game went on and I saw most of his decisions, especially the one about how he just dropped the brick on Larry, I made the decision not to jump in and save him, even though he's the only person that's been around the longest time, well, besides Clementine, I've known Kenny the longest in that entire group, and I didn't jump in to save him. In the end, it was all about what's best for Clementine, who can I trust to actually watch her and take care of her, especially after I got bitten. So, um, yeah, in the end, I guess I was more focused, less sentimental. With this, when I had to let Ben go, I was, I really didn't think much of it. I probably should have, but it, he didn't want to be saved. And maybe I would have saved him in the beginning. I mean, I did save him in the beginning. But had it been a couple episodes before, of course I would have pulled him up. Had it been today, of course I would have pulled someone up that was about to fall off the bell tower. But... If zombies are coming up the staircase and you're looking right at me and letting your hand fall out of my hand, I'm letting you go if you want to be let go. And you did. So I don't feel too remorseful about it. Maybe I should have felt some sort of grief about it. I guess he just didn't have much left to live for. I think the game touched on a lot of things that we've seen in Apocalypse Tales from the class. It definitely focused on who becomes your family in an apocalypse setting. The reversion back to social structures, as we saw in Crawford, with them trying to bring back some sense of normalcy to stay alive. The idea of oppressing women all over again. Cannibals. That was a huge one. The morality behind taking someone's things. Yeah, I think the game touched on a lot of things that we've looked at throughout the semester. They did it really well, too. Alright, that's the end of episode 5. That's the end of the whole gameplay. Okay. Okay. Hi everyone, I hope the gameplay comes out great. We'll see you in the editing chambers. Bye bye!